but this right here is awesome. Like I can just check out anything around me, man. Whatever makes me look like an idiot. Let's do this. So this is the first round. Step ladder by Wild Edge and my tethered Manus. I've never used either of them before. I've sat in this one time on a pine tree and I got these out and looked at them. I don't know how hard this is, but we're about to find out how hard it is. Let me get saddled up and we'll be right back. In this satchel, I've got my lineman belt and my tether harness. should have put the first one a little lower to the ground <laughs> so one more time got it go under that around over the bar and down through it if there's a way to tighten that easier probably is I just don't know how sell any of them after people watch this. <laughs> I'm stuck. Let's try this one. If I can do it from where I'm standing. I can done tell you one thing. I would want to put as few of these on the tree as I could. Use the aider. different angle around through that and back down the bag again around that from the back side okay around that up then down I don't know how those guys online get these so tight right off the bat Too much on that one, maybe. <laughs> What's 
Yes, they're on right, man. They're just tight as a drum. A little slippage. I would want zero slippage on up here. Let's go for the next one. I think I got the knot. How do they feel on your feet to stand on? No, they're tight as they can be. Like, does right it there. hurt your feet at all? Kind of like this, I can feel them coming through my boots. But I think, I think if I was tethered in with more of my weight on the saddle, it'd be better. So I've got way too much of a gap to get to the next one. Put that next one way too far apart. One good thing about them, they seem like they're super easy to reposition. The hard part's just getting them on the tree first. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on the boots. So that one's got to be lower too. So maybe I should do two before advancing on up the tree. Down here. Let's see if I can at least get this one started. Might not be able to get it tight. Go under, around, up behind that, and back down. Then get up here. I think the, the biggest thing is finding finding the right tightness to get them at. I don't like the rope they use. Good. Two more. Let's put this one up here for like my spot where I'll actually stand. Right up and down. say to put this thing eye level but I don't know if they mean like after you get it pulled down like that or to start out so let's go with that for now and we'll attach to this knot before we take off the little check on everything first oh. there, there's the best part man How's it looking from down there? Looks good. Do I look good? You look great. Yeah, that's the best part, man. Just hanging up here. How high do you think I am? Probably about 16 feet to your feet. Since it took me so long to get up to this point, with my feet being on those little bars for so long, now that I'm up here, I can kind of rest them. But if you do have to stand on them a little bit, you know, like this or whatever, like the pain, a little bit of tension in my feet is still there from standing on them for so long. But man, I mean, if you wanted to heal your feet up and let them get recuperated, you could just hang out like this for a little bit. But this right here is awesome. So I mean, like I can just check out anything around me, man. Like normally with a hang-on stand or a ladder stand, you got a big old tree behind you. 
and the only way to look behind it is just to move a ton and you know get up and turn all the way around checking behind it because it seems like that's where always that's where the deer always come from but I got this high with uh, using seven of them I got one left so I could have probably had my feet up here and that's without any aiders and I, I'm sure I probably could have put the first one a little higher up you know I think the best thing to do is to uh, get up as high as you can on the first one without using the lineman belt and then strap on with the lineman belt and continue on up but uh it feels good man i like the standing part i feel like i'm I feel like i'm leaning out just a little bit too far like i might need to adjust that on up a little bit let's try that but if i use it or when I use it, I'm definitely gonna be standing more than sitting because it's pretty comfortable. I mean, if your feet do slip, you're only gonna fall to here. Might, might smash the, the boys <laughs> a little bit, but not too bad. Let's try adjusting this down some. That's comfortable too. Then you're like squatting really low. I feel like for gun hunting, I would definitely sit. If I just hang out like this. You no, know, kind of peek around. Have my gun. My concern is uh, your bridge being in the way of your bow and your draw. For, uh, give me a scenario, where am I shooting at? Me. So if I wanted to shoot at you? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm in gun mode. Let me get back to bow mode first. <laughs> okay. So if you're the deer, my bow's here. I feel like I could turn around this way and get drawn. It's a little bit of a stretch. I've also seen people completely turn around this way. It's not too bad in the stretch. What about the opposite side? Which side? Over there? Mm -hmm. oh, that's, that's bread and butter over there. The bridge isn't in the way of your drawing arm? No. Like if, if I was shooting that way, it would be. But if I'm shooting that way, I'll come on around the tree so I can get myself out of the way. Because I don't want to be twisting real hard, you know, right up against the tree. So instead of twisting like this and shooting, having all this in my way I would come around here that way I could get the perfect angle and have all my bow and everything back out of the way like if there was a deer walked up and was standing which I, I don't shoot shots like that but if uh, if you had to I mean I could turn and I feel like I could draw and just shoot straight down I could probably shoot the base of the tree if I wanted to I think that's the big thing about them is one thing you know i need to adjust some things i can tell i've got some stuff too too tight and this is up too high on my back like it needs to be a little bit more down underneath of me actually cradling my butt cheeks i feel like i want to be faster at coming down we'll see get my bridge and tuck it back in around this section. And I feel like that am still would just slide right through that like butter. Come back loose. Super easy to take off. The knot doesn't get tight. Show them what that knot looks like. Yeah, if they're close. All right, so all I'm doing is leaving that under, wrapping it around the tree. See if I still remember it. And you go over, 
up through that crack. No, I done it wrong. So you go under first, up through here, and down this little loop you've made right here. It'd be nice if you could just pull that rope, you know, and seize everything up. I'm having to get up here and get it tight with that hand and then pulling it all through. So that one feels pretty good. Might be a little tight. And you, instead of just camming them over down here, they'll pop back up on you. You know, they don't want to go down. You pull them up high and cam them down. Oh man, look at that. I should have zipped my bag up better. Son of a gun. Well, that sucks. Up. Back down again. All right. So that was the first ascension up an old poplar tree with the tethered mantis. If anybody wants to know what this little bag from tethered will hold, I've got a complete tether and a lineman belt in there. You seen how long they were and they fit in it nice. I don't know if you go out and practice, you know, up and down 10 times in a row, you'd have it down pretty pat because by the time I was getting to the top, I figured out the stride. I was hitting my stride and figuring out how tight to get that rope and then camming those over so they didn't wiggle or they didn't want to pop back up on their own. It was the first ascension with the tethered mantis and the wild edge steps.